Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Manya and today I'm going to show you how to make a waterproof cover for your bike saddle. I'm pretty sure everybody has had it happen to them that you bike somewhere, you park your bike outside a store and then after a while when you come back out you realize, hey, it just rained and oh wait, my bike saddle is all wet. Well that's awkward. So for those scenarios, I created this easy no-sew cover, so you're not going to get into a situation like that. You can use it for this or just to spruce up your bike and make it look cuter. So now, let's get started. For this project, you'll need plastic tablecloth, a rubber band, a glue gun, and a pair of scissors. So first we're going to draw the pattern of the saddle cover on the tablecloth. I kind of did it in paint for you so it's easier to see how I did it. I measured my bike saddle, its length and width, and then I added 10 centimeters, that's 4 inches to each side, which left me with a measurement of 40 by 46 centimeters. Because a bike saddle is obviously not an actual triangle but more of a rounded triangle i just used this first triangle as a guideline and then i drew a rounded triangle around it just like so the important thing about it is that the corners of the first triangle and the rounded triangle have to touch the three corners other than that you can just freehand the round triangle after you cut it out make a cut into each corner of the triangle about three inches two and a half to three inches long which is around six centimeters then get your glue gun and glue the cuts together like this to create a seam So now we're making a tunnel for the rubber band. So get your glue gun out again and then put some glue on the outer edge of the tablecloth. And it's important to work in small sections here. Then get your rubber band, put it next to the glue, making sure that it does not touch the glue and then fold the edge around. And then do the same thing all over again until you're all done with the saddle and then leave a small opening at the end. When I got to the edges though I did it a little differently because the edges they tend to kind of like wrinkle and crumple up so I actually folded the edges around first to see where the two layers of tablecloth would meet and then I put the glue there. What I'm doing here now, and I should have done it after going down the first section, is that I'm actually pulling the rubber band to stretch it and to make the saddle cover kind of crumple up, if you know what I mean. So after you're done gluing down all the edges, just sew the ends of the rubber band together, giving it one tight last pull before you do so. Then cut off the axis and put the rubber band kind of inside the tunnel that you created, stuff it in there, glue down the edges, and then you're done. This is the end result. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it if you like, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.